Hey guys, the objective for this video is to discuss the concept of hydraulic jump. So hydraulic jump occurs um, for rapidly varying flow, and that is we have a dy dx which is approximately equal to one or greater. So looking at our hydraulic jump here, we start off um, with a supercritical flow and that changes rapidly into a subcritical flow here. And that occurs with quite an increase in flow height. If we have a look at our energy line here, we're gonna have some head loss, which is gonna occur through that hydraulic jump. So we've got a shallow flow going to a deeper flow at quite a rapid rate. So hydraulic jump is always from a shallow to a deep. It's a mechanism for the transition between two types of flow, and it may result when there is a conflict between upstream and downstream influences. So if we have a look at the forces involved in a hydraulic jump, we've got some head loss here. And what we're assuming here, we assume that the wall shear stress is equal to zero. So all of this head loss is due to the turbulent stresses, the viscous effects, in this area here as we transition from this shallow flow to this deeper flow here. So we have a look at a control volume inside here and inside here. We're going to have some force F1 here and some force F2 here acting on our control volume. There's also going to be some corresponding velocity V1 here and V2.